change is the only constant in the world of technology and even more so when it comes to automotive technologies and as you can see behind us well there's some sort of testing going on automotive technology testing and this event is called continental india two-wheeler tech drive and we are here to find out what these technologies are all about it has to do something with abs traction control and it involves a lot of slipping and sliding we are excited to go and ride it so let's go and check it out So we're just back from riding this scooter out on this test track located at Taneja Aerospace and Evasion Limited and well this track is made to be slippery and this scooter is pretty powerful. Now I cannot tell you what make or model this scooter is of but it's a pretty powerful scooter with an engine capacity of over 500cc and that simply means that it can spin its wheels very easily and now all that power going to the rear wheel has to be governed by some sort of traction control and when it's at speed it needs an ABS to stop and that is exactly what Continental India is trying to demonstrate on this slippery track. So well first we took it out on the track with everything turned on so we had traction control on and ABS turned on and the scooter flawlessly held the line that I intended it to. Now the second time we went out was with traction control turned off and that is where the fun began now with traction control turned off well it's pretty slippery and slidey right so of course the rear wheel was spinning and we got it to spin a lot now while spinning we were sliding and we were having fun but also that goes to prove a point that traction control does work and well it works like a charm this is going to be really useful out in the real world finally it was time to test the scooter without abs and well we just pulled the abs switch off and off we went down the straight and without hesitation as soon as you grab the levers the scooter was slipping and sliding and it could turn really ugly if you hold on to the brakes for longer so well point proven content in india's abs and traction control systems work really well now there's something else i want to talk to you about here and that is Continental's integration of abs and traction control now usually traction control and abs are separate units on motorcycles that are equipped with it now in this scooter what Continental is trying to prove is it can integrate both so there is one basic unit that can be used on motorcycles and scooters of smaller engine capacity that is a single channel abs unit and then comes the intermediate unit so this has more capabilities and it can be integrated with an external imu and it gets inbuilt traction control as well so that is exactly what is on this scooter here and then of course there's another unit uh, that has been displayed at this event and that has integrated uh, traction control abs and it has got an integrated imu as well so well continental seems to have done lots of research into this and as displayed here well it's pretty effective. Now that we're done with ABS and traction control, it's time to go and check out some other technologies developed by Continental India. So it's time to head out onto the runway. Up next, of course, it was our turn to take this motorcycle out on the runway to test a few new technologies that aren't yet on the market, uh, at least not in full blown proportion. And well, once again, we're not going to talk about the motorcycle, but about the technologies that Continental India has implemented on this motorcycle. And that in particular, first up is ARAS. So this is something that is new. It's of course found on a lot of premium motorcycles, motorcycles that cost over 20 lakh, 25 lakh rupees but it isn't found on something that has a smaller engine and is also mainstream and that's where this comes in so Continental India has developed this ARAS ARAS stands for Advanced Rider Assistance Systems and that involves a set of radars, sensors and of course LED uh, strips placed on strategic parts of the motorcycle to warn the rider about oncoming objects or threats for example you have the blind spot warning system wherein LEDs in the mirror indicate to the rider that there is an object in the blind spot and of course there are other LEDs placed on other parts of the motorcycle for example in the visor that uh, tells the rider that there is an object up front and the rider should immediately switch lanes and then there's an LED at the rear that warns the driver of the vehicle behind that there is a vehicle this LED flashes at really high speeds and that kind of alerts the driver of the vehicle at the rear so that is the ARAS system sorted and then of course you have the corner braking system or as Continental India puts it OBC and that of course is optimal braking control and what that 
involves is a set of sensors that includes even the IMU so you've got your inertial measurement unit and what that does is it tells the ABS system the angle of lean of the motorcycle so if it's leaned over really hard so say for example 40 degrees then the braking prowess of the motorcycle even if you jam the levers it isn't going to be as much as it would if it's in a straight line so that's how cornering abs works and it works brilliantly on this motorcycle and yet another feature that sets this cornering abs system apart is the vehicle dive limiter so well that is a lot of technology packed into this motorcycle and continental has integrated it very well indeed so apart from the vehicles apart from what we've experienced there is also a stall where continental displayed a lot of uh, vehicle related products especially related to two wheelers since this is two wheeler tech drive so you've got everything from the seats that is a surface area technologies and uh, to the tires so you've got some tires here that aren't yet in the indian market and then you've got all these electronics and the modules used in them on display at the continental pavilion at Taneja aerospace and aviation limited it's been a brilliant day out here for us as you can see the sun setting down on us and we've been riding we've been testing these motorcycles and scooters all day long and these technologies are something that we cannot wait to see out on indian roads and well in hopes of that we're signing off on this video thank you for watching this is stephen neil signing off for drive spark do let us know in the comments what you thought of these technologies or even if you have any queries about these technologies and well stay safe and ride safe